Didi, the, the Iranian counter-attacking threat, like we saw it a fair few times. I know, as Keith says, the quality up front to get the goal is the issue for Iran. Yeah, a few times they looked a really good team going forward. This is a great move. Um, the full vision of Miri comes on the left-hand side and he just uh, yeah, he nearly misses the ball. You know, this is a good chance. This is a great angle here. Uh, we see him here, he's got half a yard. I think it's Charisma behind him. And you just have to make sure he's got such a long time to concentrate on the ball and hit it. And uh, yeah, hits it 10 yards wide. And uh, they, they probably did more in the first half than they did in the two previous games uh, going forward. Uh, whether this is because they need to win, uh, not too sure. This is a, a half a yard. If he gets a, a toe there, uh, maybe he could have got a penalty. But um, no, they, they look good. But the final pass, is, as Keith alluded to, uh, it did let them down. This is a foul by uh, Guerrero, who got booked for it. Um, and they get a, a half decent chance. It's not the best ball. We, we don't see the free kick. It's a, it's a header which goes straight to Patricio. Um, so it's not all plain sailing or it's not all Portugal. Of course, they have large parts of the possession, but when they do go forward, uh, they look threatened without really testing the goalkeeper so far. Mm. Uh, Keith, we've seen the, the, the fantastic goal from Quaresma. What about the other stuff that Portugal managed to create in the first half? Yeah, I think they've got into areas where as soon as they've played a little bit more incisive, sharper. They have mm. opened the Iranian mm. defence up at times. Um, We're just having an issue I showing you I that piece of, of, of clip. At, at, it, was going to take a bit of magic. it was going to take a mm. bit of magic to break them down because they are strong physical guys and uh, they were very, very tough into the tackle. They were closing uh, the Portuguese forwards down. Ronaldo hasn't, hasn't seen yeah. a lot. He had a half mm, chance quiet. maybe in the first five minutes of the game. Uh, so they have done their job and it was going to take a bit of magic to break them down and Quaresma came up with it. Mm. Portugal are probably better when they don't have the vast majority of possession. The way that the, the coach has set them up, they are a threat on the counter-attack. They can soak up pressure. We've seen it time and time again for them. So this probably doesn't suit them. They'll yeah. have to throw caution to the wind now. Yeah, that's they have the, to, that's they the have to yeah. really come out and see if they can. They need two goals. A draw is no good to them. Yeah. They only need two goals. I think. And that's where the real danger, Didi, will be. Mm. I would imagine that they, as the lads say, they have to go for this now. They have, but not right away. Uh, if, if I was have, the manager. They have to go right no, away. Not, not, not a goal down. Yeah, but not the first 20 minutes. If you concede a second goal, the game is over. You know, If you keep it to 1 0. German organisation again. Absolutely. Um, I, I think the worst, you know, a similar situation as, as Ireland had against Denmark, you know, where you take the two central midfield off when you need two goals in the second half. There's no, no time to panic now. And, and the, the, the golfing class, uh, that shouldn't make them panic more than, than they should do. They need two goals and, and they know that, but you don't need to get them in the first 10 minutes. Um, you know, I'd, I'd leave it as it is, um, talking about putting the body on the line. The way these guys defend, I've, had, I've hardly seen anything like it. You know, the way they tackle, the, the way they go in, the way they use their bodies uh, against each other as well. I think we see it after the game where, yeah, yeah. where the goalkeeper and goalkeeper. they put it together with a centre-back. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's how fired up they were. Yeah. You know, when you yeah. see the centre-back and the goalkeeper squaring up to one another, you know they're up for the game. Keep it, <laughs> keep, keep it another 20, 25 minutes, 70 minutes, I'd say I'd stick the two centre-backs up top and hoof it. Yeah, OK. <laughs> but for the yeah. moment, Didi Haman says there's no time to panic. It's no time to panic at all. <laughs>